Hello, everybody. Tom Nappy here. And today we are joined by the owner of Hopio, Matt Collarin. Matt, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we understand that many exciting things are happening at Hopio. But uh, first off, it's been a tough time for a lot of small businesses. How's business going on your end? It definitely has been a challenging year. Um, I mean, the, the business model of people coming in and being able to serve themselves uh, was kind of thrown a major curveball with uh, coronavirus. Um, but throughout the whole year, we were able to pivot and we opened up our side windows and kind of converted to a more traditional uh, ice cream shop model, which was great. Um, and the, the town and the community has been super supportive. Um, but usually, uh, I know we go into the fall winter after having a really big successful year um, and can pare back a little bit, but that's just wasn't the case. And uh, I've always thought about different ways that I could expand Hapio, especially as the weather got colder and looking at adding more candy or other things and soup just seemed like a really great, great uh, pivot. And so I found an awesome partner and have been bringing in soups beginning in the uh, uh, early December. And it's been really awesome. Um, six different fresh soups every day. Um, and I've also been able to partner with other local businesses. So like Dolce de Leche, the, the chocolatier in Ashland and some um, gourmet popcorn out of Dover, New Hampshire, and the ladies from Snappy Dogs and bring, I'm serving um, limited amounts of their uh, fire angry chili. Um, so it's been, it's been really, really great. That's terrific. Um, so rather than people serving themselves now, you, you pretty much have to serve them, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. We hope that eventually later this year, we'll get back to a place where it's safe enough and people can come in and make their own their own Sundays. That's the, the joy of coming into Hopio where, you know, you can pick four different flavors and different toppings if you want and kind of mix and match. And kids love being able to create their own masterpieces. Um, and so hopefully we'll be able to get back to that. But currently we still do have uh, frozen yogurt, a limited amount of frozen yogurt along with our soups um, for the warmer days. Um, but yes, it's all we serve. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been going great. That's terrific. I think the addition of soups are uh, going to be great for days like today where it's very cold outside. Yeah. Uh, and I understand you have a fundraiser going on uh, with the chili, if I'm correct. Uh, can you talk about the fundraiser? I do. One of the key reasons I um, bought Hapio was to really get more and more um, invested in, in, in partnership with different organizations, especially the students. I have three kids. Um, a eight-year-old eight -year -old and six-year-old who are all moving through the whole school system and we're, we're going to be uh, here for a long time. And so uh, it was really about having a great central location and a fun dessert frozen yogurt spot that could partner with the different community uh, organizations, but also the students. And so I've been doing a lot with the frozen yogurt throughout the years. Um, and this year, the Relay for Life team um, reached out to me because they're having a real tough time with their fundraising. Uh, most of their traditional fundraisers aren't uh, able to happen because of um, all of the restrictions with COVID. And so uh, we came up with a fun idea to do a, a super chili fundraiser. And so I've got some really delicious chili. Tom Brady's playing, unfortunately not for our team, but it's still going to be fun to watch to see if, if he can grab his 10th. And uh, I'm sorry, as he's playing in his tent. Um, and so we are giving back um, for every chili that's purchased. And Brian Brown at Guaranteed Rate is awesome in town as well. He's always, always partnering and always giving back. And so he has agreed to match dollar for dollar my donation. So ultimately, we're going to give back 40% of all the chili sales for Super Bowl Sunday back to the Hopkins and Relay for Life team, which is really exciting. That's tremendous. And uh, there's a great event, as you just mentioned, coming up for that. Of course, one of the most popular chili days probably in the world yeah. is the day of the Super Bowl. And it should be an exciting uh, one this year. Probably not as many Super Bowl parties, but it's certainly uh, worth going out and getting that chili. Is it different kinds of chili or is there one specific kind? So we have a, a great beef chili and then there also will be limited amounts of Lisa's Angry Chili. Um, and so I'm taking pre-orders. Um, if you go to www.hoprfl.shop, 
So hop relay for life, um, but rfl.shop and you can place your orders. Um, and we're, we'll, we'll take as much as we can as I'm working with Lisa to see how much of the angry chili she can crank out, but um, there'll be the two different types of chili. Well, that's a tremendous uh, fundraiser to benefit the relay for life. Head over to Hopio, get your uh, chili orders in and uh, benefit a great cause. Uh, Matt, before we let you go, I have to ask, uh, who do you got winning the Super Bowl? I have to go with Tom. Have to go. It would be just, you know, record breaking. And, uh, you know, it's always fun to watch him. So we'll see. But it should be hopefully it's a fun game. Absolutely. I got the Tom Brady Buccaneers as well. Yeah. Um, Thanks. Two other things. Can I quickly just mention Hopio is up for um, an award to be top um, ice cream shop in local ice cream shop through Hula Frog. Um, and so if people could go and vote at votehopio.shop, that would be awesome. And we're doing a pop-up with Flower Bakery on Saturday, which is really exciting, bringing a bakery, the big bakery chain from Boston out to Hopio. Um, and so people can pre-order on Flower's website. But uh, the opportunity to give back to the students and do the partnership with Relay for Life around Chile is just the beginning. We've talked about doing a pie fundraiser and other things. And that's my goal is to help try to make up some of the, the difference that the team is not able to make in the traditional fundraisers that they usually have in non-COVID years. That's terrific. And um, where can people go to find out about all the programs uh, that you have coming up? I keep my, my Instagram feed updated all the time with the different uh, menu items and the different soups that we have. And so everything can be accessed there um, or just go to www.hop-yo.com and all the information's on the website as well. All right, Matt. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens on Sunday. It should be a fun day. Absolutely. Thanks so much and best of luck with the fundraiser. Thank you.